We have seen so many different forms of Star Wars Funkos over the years, but we've never seen the Clone Wars until now. I'm so excited to introduce the Anakin Skywalker Clone Wars Funko Pop. I'm sure you remember the Clone Wars. It was received very well. It was on Cartoon Network. Uh, it took place in between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, and it detailed the heroes of the Clone Wars, including Anakin himself, as they struggled to fight it, and it led up to the events of Order 66, you know, uh, Revenge of the Sith. So Hayden Christensen had originally played this character in the prequel films, but a lot of people really prefer the, the Clone Wars version of him. Uh, the Clone Wars version of Anakin Skywalker. It really helped flesh that character out, show him in a better light. Uh, he was referred to as the hero of the Clone Wars. Holonet News in canon referred to him as the hero without fear. He was a big deal in the Star Wars universe. And as you know, he would later go on to become Darth Vader. So this is a very important character to get right, which is why so many fans were happy with the Clone Wars show, expanding on that character, and doing uh, a better job with him, and also making the movie version better by expanding on him. Very important character, arguably the most important character in Star Wars canon, considering that he's both Darth Vader and the Chosen One of the Force. Um, so, there's a lot of details to this character. One such detail that was very important to get right was his lightsaber, Anakin's lightsaber. It would play a huge part in the prequels, it would be passed down to Luke Skywalker in A New Hope, and later on would be inherited by Rey in uh, The Force Awakens and used in The Last Jedi. So this is a very, very important detail to get right, and I'm happy to say that they did. His overall costume design is uh, more along the earlier seasons. It was done involving that version of the character and it's done well it's very accurate there's a lot of detail here uh, it looks very true to that version of the character you can definitely tell that it is the Clone Wars Anakin it doesn't just look like Revenge of the Sith Anakin so I'm glad that they did go with that look um, his, he's a bobblehead obviously because the Star Wars ones are all bobbleheads they're not just vinyls and he has a ton of detail you can even see the armor pauldrons on his shoulders and the bits of armor on his chest and back. It's just done very well. There's definitely an attention to detail here that not all Funkos managed to get down. So I was really, really happy with that. Uh, if you really got in close, you can tell that his bang is a different part of his head, um, but you can really only see that in a certain light. For the most part, it looks really, really good, and I'm really impressed with it, as always, uh, with you know these later Star Wars ones. So here's that first look. Uh, you know, that he went through. Later on, he'd go into this look that looked much closer to Revenge of the Sith, but they opted not to do that, I would assume, because the first look for him is much more uh, iconic to Clone Wars, since it's not that Revenge of the Sith look, and they probably wanted it to be branded after the Clone Wars itself. Just speculation, but that's my understanding of it. Overall, I'm really happy with this one. I think it's a lot easier to find in good condition versus uh, the Obi-Wan one. A lot of the Obi-Wan ones have issues on the face with his beard, which is why I still don't actually own that one yet. I'm still looking for a good version of it. Anakin isn't that way. I've seen a lot of them in really good shape, and I think the mold and paint jobs on this one are pretty fantastically done, even though I'm still very, very upset that I was not able to get the Revenge of the Sith one where he's evil. I'm really mad about that, guys. This was exclusive to Walgreens, so that really kind of pissed me off. I loved that one and wanted that one too, but... You know, I guess I gotta settle for this amazing one and uh, be happy with it unless I really want to pay out my b-hole for that scalped one, which I, I don't really at this point. Anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I really love this. I love the Clone Wars ones that they've been doing. So let me know what you think. And as always, stay classy. I'll see you next time.